All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we are being edgy today. I'm gonna try to beat Ninja the Dirt to stand on hard mode in one session. With at first, I was gonna do with uh, no saves at all, but that's gonna get complicated, uh, and I'll explain later why. But um, you will see what happens. I think I can do it though. I can definitely do a deathless run, and uh, I also haven't even actually completed hard mode ever at all so it's also my first time but you know i'm pretty sure this hard mode came out like three four years ago already and for some reason i just never tried it but yeah this is basically what it is enemies will spot you more easily tinder boxes are no longer harder to come by autosave is disabled and saving your game costs in the boxes losing your sanity will kill you which is definitely the hardest part of the run because your sanity drops fast baby but yeah about as fast as possible. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be mainly uncut. And uh, it's just gonna be like a pretty long video. It's gonna be like at least three hours. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm hoping I'll do it. Um, but yeah, I'll explain uh, everything when we're playing here. So basically, on hard mode, there's overall less tinderboxes and oil you come by. And after you get like seven or eight tinderboxes, they completely stop spawning. And uh, yeah, you actually do need to use a lot of them. So that's fine because we'll always be using them. So, you know, we probably won't reach the eight tinderboxes uh, that frequently anyway. Um. But yeah, I don't know, man. This is pretty hard. But it shouldn't be too bad for me personally, because I'm a pro amnesia gamer, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck off. Because uh, I've beaten it on normal mode, deathless, like fucking at least five times. And that's not even ever the goal to beat a deathless, it just happens naturally, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's like... I play this game annually, every fucking year. Because it's one of the goats of all time. And it's somehow pretty fun each time as well. Even though it's like the same thing. But yeah, I just think it's... Oh. No, this is not the Bible. I swear, for some reason, I always think there's a Bible on the ground there. Like, I have this memory of where, uh, there's just a Bible on the ground there when you enter that area. We're already speedrunning the tinderboxes. I mean, we could- Oh, yeah, um... I don't think this was mentioned in the description, uh, on the hard mode, but... You actually... If you want to save manually, which is the only way you can save in this mode, yeah, it costs four tinder boxes as well. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that is kind of cringe for sure. Okay, there's no oil here. Fucking hell. Unlike in uh, normal mode. Uh, but yeah, once a slight headache, you want your Santa to be around a slight headache to perfect for the most of the time because once it reaches below that it's a little bit risky and once it reaches dot 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 you there's like a huge chance you'll just drop dead if you don't get to a light source fast enough which you either do by uh lighting a candle or just getting to a light source which is i think just it has to be like a torch or a candle Alexander, is it inside the castle in a manner of speaking come Bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't think but yeah, we're just going here to get an oil. Is it connected to the pretty awesome? What did you call it? The inner sanctum, my most precious chamber, Daniel, and it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. I love the voice acting in this game. It's actually fucking awesome. It's oddly good, in my humble opinion. I'm 
Okay. Gotta check something real quick. Alright. Uh, I don't think there's anything in this room. I've played through hard mode, like, a, through a little bit. Like, yesterday. And I didn't get very far. I think I only got... I don't know. I think I got to the water monster part and around there is when I actually no I made it to even I made it to the prison all the way but then uh yeah I got a little bit quirky there I didn't even my son and it was at the lowest possible on that run and I was at prison so it's like uh it's pretty much done for and I had zero tinder boxes left it was kind of a dead run for the most part might have been savable but I didn't really care enough because I wasn't recording anyway. I might uh, put this a little bit higher. But yeah, I'm actually not even speedrunning though. I just kind of know what I want to go for, at least in the beginning and where everything is. But I'm not even actually speedrunning. This is how. I just do it. You have to be or maybe I just have the speedrun jeans right now. That? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful. I don't think there was anything here to be honest. You yeah, know, we don't. We're not gonna pick up really any note. None of them are gonna be important because I just already know everything I have to do even though a few days ago when I played through this casually on normal mode um, I tried to like get all the tinder boxes and notes achievement without looking anything up like I thought I naturally just by exploring and get all of them but no I swear to god I missed like one note Okay, there's nothing there. Air is pounding and hands are shaking. I think that's... Probably bad. <laughs> I think that's the second lowest it can be, so we need to get to a light source. And I'm pretty sure the lantern doesn't help. Um, so we definitely need to... And there's like zero lights in the wine cellar. Uh, so we need to um, actually light some shit. So again, every time you... I don't know if I mentioned this either, but every time you... Uh, yeah, every time you uh, finish a puzzle successfully, your sanity goes up again. So that's a good to know thing. Or at least until tomorrow. Oh, also, I, all oil containers here give you, like, jack shit. They barely give you anything. I think it was, like, 10% for all of them. Uh, on hard mode. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure our sanity is, like, a zero now. It's fucking raped. All right, and now I think if we do this puzzle here successfully, it'll go up again. So, which in theory, I guess that means it doesn't really matter if I just light that candle there, because we'll, we'll just do this puzzle, which is overall gonna be better for our insanity. Come on, bitch. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. All is back. Still not ideal, though. I'm pretty sure there's some jack shit here. What's happening? Yeah. Feels like my chest is going to burst. Yeah, for those who don't even know what the fuck's happening, oh my God. Bill, we're just that. collecting uh, potions to make like a fucking. Some sort of thing to remove the red liquid. 
uh, to make progress at like downstairs, whatever that is. Uh, okay, so one thing we're not gonna do here is pick up that laudanum there because that'll trigger a monster and our sanity will be dog water. And it's not worth it because also in this uh, difficulty, the monsters do just stay like forever in one location. So you don't want to trigger that trap. Okay, Crystal Clear Sanity already. We're farming the puzzles for sure. But yeah, at first, I wanted to, um, I had this idea that I would just do a zero saves run on this mode, as if doing, you know, a death list isn't already ideal enough. But I don't think I'll actually do zero saves, because if I do end up dying, oh my god, it's gonna be a waste of time, because I'm gonna start right in the beginning, right, so... And the thing with this mode is that there's like certain rooms as well that drain your sanity by like half. And it just, I don't know each and every room that does that, so I don't know how to avoid all of them. So it's just not ideal to do a zero save run. So some room might just cook me over really hard. Okay, I don't think you can avoid that cutscene. But there should be more coop rack. Let me see, let me see. And one part aquafortis. Aquafortis, baby. I'm literally gonna like kick my sanity every ten seconds. It's already a bad habit. Not the worst habit, though. I mean, you do want to check it pretty frequently. I think the first save I'm gonna do is like... I don't know, it sucks that it costs so much to save. It's four tinderboxes and you get eight in total. Because once you get eight, you can't get any more. So it's like, once you save, you only have four left. And it's kind of quirky energy. So pretty much when you save, you want to make sure you have at least eight. Because... You know, otherwise, you're gonna be risking some shit. Alright, here we go, this is why we made the potion. I mean, I assume anyone who is watching this video has seen the game prior or played the game prior. And if not, definitely do that shit. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But, but you can, can light the lamp now, if you wish. What's the reason for, the dark for some reason, this particular, uh, like, a dialogue always What's the reason? Why is it so uh, lives rent-free in my mind. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. I actually had a pretty scary part here yesterday when I tried hard mode. And this monster sure does actually stay for a while here if you like stare at him at all, even once. Like he just comes strolling back. Uh, but this is one of the those areas where you don't want to visit like the wrong room. Because one of these rooms really fucks with your sanity and it's actually advised to not visit any of them. Um, which is why we're just gonna straight try to go for this room here. I'm sure there's like oil and shit. Is it just dropping my sa Oh yeah, it's dropping just my sanity hardcore. Fuck. Okay, here's a light source. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is actually really scary. Like, yeah, every time you it's like does that sound and it like goes blurry. Okay, good. It just takes a little while. Um, yeah, that's what I mean, though. Cause I, okay, dude, 
it's not that hard. Fucking hell. What kind of sh fucking strength do you need for that? Fuck. I feel like I still wanna... I mean, that puzzle didn't bring enough sanity back to me, ladies and gentlemen. We need to not be near dot dot dot. Which is the fourth and last sanity. Ah, uh, fucking meter. We want it to be at like a slight headache. I don't know if this will work though. I don't know if you like stay here forever. You can actually make it all the way back. I don't think so. And we just might not have to risk it. Sucks. Good to know, mate. Okay. Um, yeah, whatever. Man, heart mode is fucking scary. Like, this is why I don't want to do a zero save run yet. I might do it someday, but... Considering this is my first time going through it. Technically going through it. Like, uh, made it to prison last time, but... Alright, if it goes to dot dot dot, we're so fucked. Uh, I don't even know what to do then. Also, the water monster is actually a lot faster in this, and you want to make sure you act genuinely don't fall ever. Because you are just fucked, just you do. And I'm pretty sure they're all like... Fucking zero hits. Uh, so yeah. You wanna not fall, man. It's older if you folded. Interestingly enough, we haven't gotten any danger boxes in a while. We're kind of stuck at four right now. So since this water monster is faster, we gotta make sure we're not too goofy. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking fast by like 2x. This is like such a good part of the game though, like, it's so well done, it's genuinely scary every fucking time. Very iconic part. Okay, that's good. Might have gotten a little bit of our sanity back there, ladies and gentlemen. It's definitely a weird part, though, on hard mode, because there's nothing you can really do to bring up your sanity on that, except this very last puzzle, I guess. Now, at least we have slight edic. Now, I'm not sure how harder this actually is on hard mode. But I've never had trouble with it on uh, normal. Because all you do is run, really. <laughs> but it is so scary because I genuinely don't know how close he is. But he sounds super fucking close. Like, he sounds so fucking close, man. Sounds way too close. We're still not gonna save yet. I, I, I think I will probably save... Um, near the prison. Like, uh, near the end of prison. Uh, which is where we meet the Grant, I believe, for the first time, technically. And it's an actual, like, it's pretty fucked up part. And I think uh, I'll play it safe for the most part. And uh, for most Grant encounters, I'll probably actually just play it safe and, like, hide. Because since they are one hit and faster than you. There's pretty much no shot. You can run away from any of them. Um, I'm not sure if there was anything here, to be honest. 
I don't fucking think so. Okay, good. God bless. I don't know why I opened that. I knew that there's a fucking sanity dropper there. Let's see what you have to offer. Okay, good. Crystal clear, baby girl. Okay, imagine we fucking fall off. Oh my god, I'm not gonna risk. I'm literally not gonna risk jumping through this shit. I'm so slow when when the cutscene is playing. It's like fucking not worth it. I will just fall off. Every time, every fucking time I'm doing this part is scary. All right. Boom. There we go. You need to get that too. To... All right. Well, back we go. Oh my god, every time. I never even knew this back then. Um, like, what the fuck that shit does when there's that noise and it gets blurry, but I only a few days ago realized what that actually does after like 10 years of this game being out. More than 10 years. But yeah, it's just a sanity dropper. I never knew that, but that's very interesting, yeah. It doesn't matter nearly as much as on uh, normal, though, so I guess it makes sense. I never knew about that. Uh, and I don't know if they even ever explain it in the, like, the tutorials either. You know, this run might be a little bit faster than we think. Like, this could be only two hours or something, because... It's really... The only... Slow part of this run is gonna be hiding from Grunt, so it's like... Overall, it might not be... Too slow. We don't meet the monsters too frequently in total, right? Uh, but yes, thank you. We have six now. We can save pretty safely. Are you okay? Just went live, SMH. There we go. Okay. We're not gonna pick up this note because a grunt will appear in the uh, study room. All right. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide. <laughs> be, like cutscenes are way off or way behind. Okay, we're going to the prison, ladies and gentlemen. This is like, or sorry. The fucking storage. I think I said it's the s uh, prison, a prison uh, like fucking every time instead of the storage. But yeah, I may I mean to save at the end of the storage. They are pretty scary parts, both of them. But the prison is definitely worse. Uh, but yeah. Okay, now that monster will come here. We're just gonna wait it out. Thankfully, I think. If you just like, okay, if a, if a grunt appears and you don't look at it, I don't think the sanity will really drop necessarily. And I think I might just drop a little bit here because uh, of me looking into the abyss here. But it's just looking into the darkness also fucks with your sanity. Again, we do gotta be safe still because it the grunt is literally one shot. Let's stare at this baby. Thank you. Yeah, he was already like, the game's like, hmm, I see you're having trouble there with uh, keeping your sanity up. But I just want to mention how these days 60 FPS real feels really not smooth. <laughs> like, I'm so used to uh, like above 90 and shit like that. It's crazy. And back then, 30 was fine. In like 20 fucking 12, you know. It's just kind of crazy. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's like a really good chest in here somewhere. With like laudanum and... Uh, oil. Pretty fucking good chest. 
Ah, uh, yeah, chair, okay. If I could... Here we go. So that's like the best chest in the goddamn game, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, all we need to do now is boom. How many oil do we have eight, man? We're farming. I mean, you really don't need oil that much in this game, to be honest. You more, you genuinely need more tinder boxes, like even in the base game. Look at the oil, and you can technically not use the oil at all if you like cheat through uh, the brightness settings and just max it out. But I'm not even doing that. I'm on, like 1.1 gamma. So, we're not even doing that yet. Oh, that already gave me a slight headache, you see? It's pretty, like, it's crazily draining. Also, I'm pretty sure... Um, you don't actually waste your oil when it's set during a cutscene, so you can just keep that shit up. And I'm pretty sure it might even help with your sanity, maintaining it. Okay, let's see. Don't stand too close to the blast. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> like, what a hint. Alright. We have seven tinder boxes. We're pretty good to go here. Again, I'm pretty sure you can use the lantern when it's a cutscene. It doesn't drain the oil. There's nothing in this area. As far as I'm concerned, to pick up. Let me just stare at this a little bit. <laughs> of course, up there. I'm pretty sure this will drain my sanity. Probably. Light headache, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna be saving here now, I believe. This is a smart idea. Um, I, I just think it's a smart idea. I mean, we should, by the time we get to prison, get up to four tinder boxes again. After this, we'd be at like three, right? So we should need one more after this, and then we can save a prison again. But it is kind of sketchy, but it's also quite risky to not save here. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I'm like, the less tinder boxes you have, the more you get anyway. Because it, again, it caps out at eight and then stops spawning. So. I think it's worth saving here, just in case. I think so, yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'll do this fine. Yeah, all right. Now we have three. Okay. Um. So there's two encounters here with the grunt, and these fuckers stay, like... He just broke down the door in two hits, and I don't know how he didn't see me, because the second one was still when I was visibly there. Okay, he's never broken down that door, ladies and gentlemen, that scared the shit out of me. Amnesia scaring the shit out of me in 2023. Amazing. Uh, alright, that's... I guess that's... I think the only reason he did that, though, is because... Um... I closed the fucking door way too late. And he, like, saw me a little bit, probably. But yeah, you wanna... You actually want to, uh, go behind him here. Because, uh... He keeps patrolling the area, no matter what. It's pretty fucked up. He just keeps patrolling the fucking area. And it's fucking shitty. Like he turns around right now, probably here. Go okay, just run for it. Gonna light this fucker. I'm gonna wait it out. I don't think he's gonna come back all the way here. Then there is one more encounter with the grunt here. And I can't run past him because even in normal mode, he like scratches you. And in this mode, you know, 
it's one shot, so it's just not doable. I don't think this crown ever comes all the way here. I don't think we can really get much better than this. Like, I don't know if... I don't know how the sanity exactly works in this game, so I don't know if, like, you, it, like, slowly goes up. But, whatever. I guess we built it up. But we got enough. There's another grunt here. Um... I, I don't know, I usually hide here. I don't think he's ever actually come all the way here. I think he like turns around at some point. Because you'll hear him though, patrolling the area. If he comes here, I might be fucked. Like, I don't know where to hide other than this area. Wow, it's really shaking, huh? We have two tinder boxes. Like, it's fucking. I need to patrol the area, like, uh, just grind. And search all the areas, man. But yeah, since the monsters... Oh, shit! Let me go back to the slide source. There we go. Ooh, I was about to die, bro. Alright. I don't know if you... I don't think you can actually bring your sanity all the way back. With just torches, though. But at least we haven't gotten low enough to the point where, like, you know, uh, we're like, our mouse is fucked and it's like, sluggish as shit. Guess that also happens when your sanity is really low. But yeah, I think we're good now. Dude, this hard mode has given me, like, extra ADHD because I check, I fucking tab every five seconds to check the sanity. Holy shit. Hmm. You know what does suck about saving there though is if I somehow die in the next like 30 minutes, I'll have to re redo that the worst part. Although the prison is still worse. It is pounding, not ideal. But we should be fine for the next few here until we get to the prison. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> Some reasons throughout the whole run I've forgotten. I need to actually pick up the... Or choose the keys from inventory. Alright. So, here's a little fun fa fact about everything. You have an ascending This... Room. Will it take us to the puzzle back in the day the back in the day i never realized how this fucking puzzle works ever and only two days ago when i replayed this and that and when a few days ago when i did replay this i for the first time read every note as well i was basically doing a lore playthrough right i was like immersing myself and <laughs> through the power of reading notes and not to being illiterate, I managed to for the first time understand what you actually do in this puzzle. And it's actually pretty fucking easy. Uh, I think you just need to, um, each lever, it needs to go up to like eight numbers on each uh, side, like up and down. And that that's it. That's literally it. You just need to know like Roman numbers, which I didn't know before as well, but I just didn't know how the puzzle works. Part of our journey. But yeah, so three, you have three. Eight, five, it takes you to and then like, where you can view the yeah, there we go. That's eight, eight. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. I mean, I understand beauty by man. When he played this game, he had no fucking idea what to do on that puzzle, or any puzzles for that matter, because he didn't read the notes really. Which I get, it's a let's play, so he didn't really wanna fuck around with the notes too hard, but yeah. Okay, so this is also pretty easy. I never knew how to do this really either. Um, but yeah, flow, like circle, or face, like square, and uh, whatever that says, to be honest, like Trinity. 
And yeah, there, there it is. It's it's pretty simple to be honest. But yeah, back in the fucking day when I used to like speedrun this, I used to just write down each puzzle, which I guess kind of still makes sense. Because you're trying to do it as fast as possible. But yeah. But I just genuinely didn't know how to do them. Alright, let's uh, pick up some gold, ladies and gentlemen. Get the machine up and running. Yeah, that barely gives you shit. I think you need three. But yeah, we're, uh, again, for those who have never played the game or don't remember, we just need to uh, fix this machine up so we can go to the prison, like the elevator up and running. Wait, doesn't it work? There we go. Fuck. It is pounding. Well, that's fine, so we'll complete a puzzle in a sec. I'm getting, like, fucking notifications out the asshole right now. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Okay, crystal clear, that gave me a shitload. I guess that was a hard puzzle overall, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's back to slight headache. Amazing. I'm pretty sure we're forced to essentially get hit here. I wanna check if there's really no, like, tinder box anywhere, because I have three right now. And it's really risky to go anywhere in prison without or hair at least. Yeah, you're forced there. I don't think there is though, sadly. I'm really bruised the fuck up too. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any tinder boxes, sadly. Ah, man. Okay. Yeah, imagine, by the way, that you actually, someone dies on heart mode, they're like, actually dying. From like the red liquid, or they are red fucking shit. Instead of your sanity dropping like this shit. Stare it to light. Yes. Damn, this is this soundtrack that's playing right now is genuinely one of the more horrifying ones. But yeah, I don't know if there's any more tinder boxes before we go to prison, ladies and oh, we can't even go back. I don't think I ever knew that. You can't actually go back after you clear the machine room. Nor go back to the machine room, it seems. I don't know, this is really sussy, but... There's nothing we can really do at this point. Three tinder boxes. I hope we'll be fine. Hopefully we'll find... I mean, to be honest, we don't need to save anyway, like, right when we get to the prison, that doesn't really matter, because the first half of the prison isn't too bad. But, that, like, the second half, it's kind of sketchy, for sure. But by then, we should have more than enough, I think, to save anyway. Okay, here comes the joyride, ladies and gentlemen. They're at the light the entire time. Well, if that didn't drop my sanity to zero, I don't know what will, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Wait, was that, that... Did that just clear my sanity? I guess I did technically progress, but... Uh, that's kind of funny. Flight headaches from only that. That's a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so is there really no tinder boxes here? Like We're heading to prison for this god's sake. So I think set that, nope, that's a candle. I'm seeing things. I should have warned you. Yeah. One of my this should be fine. Is that of a I mean I've completed the game ten hundred times, this should be fine. Like I should know what I'm doing so. by now. Come. Don't linger. Fuck off. Alright. 
slight headache. We were fine. Three tinder books is not ideal, but... Oh yeah, this part really fucks you. Like, just the fact that we just hear a shitload of noise apparently fucks with our sanity. I might just fucking stay here for a while, man. We have two tinder boxes we can't save. We need to be extra fucking careful. It's, it's on the third lowest level right now. Or, like, fourth being the lowest. Come on, baby. I don't think it's gonna help. I think... Realistically, I think... It does slowly build up the sanity meter. But since I can't visually see, see it, I don't know how fast it's coming up, but... Hopefully that helped a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna go here first. We don't... Whatever we do, we don't want to go up the fucking stairs. Because that's where the grunt will appear. Okay, God bless America on that one. Alright, we have three again. That's good, at least. Okay, let's not go upstairs. Um... There's this shitty part here that'll apparently throw your sanity to the fucking absolute pieces. Which I don't know if you can avoid. I don't know, can you avoid- like, is there anything near this door? No? Then I don't even need to go there. It's fine then. Okay, I think what I'll do, I have a, this game plan. We'll see the grunt. And then we'll run wherever I light the, the torch air. We're making a whole game plan right now. Wait. <laughs> Wait, why did I even light that torch anyway? Fucking... There's like 10 fucking candles here. Okay, that grunt actually saw me. And I ran... As soon as I heard the noise. But then again... I don't know. I think I actually hear him walking still, bro. Well, at least we have a slight headache only now. Yeah, I think... Like, when the grunt patrols, there's no music in playing in hard mode. Only when he chases you. I think. I'm not sure. But I read that somewhere. <laughs> Is he still patrolling? Fuck, this is scary, ladies and gentlemen. Hard mode is genuinely scary because there's so much. There's a lot more at stake. Like, if I die right now, I'll have to do, like, 30 minutes. Okay, maybe not 30 minutes, but... I need to start all the way back at storage. And I don't want to save yet either, because, like, well, I can't. One and second. Uh, I don't want to either, because... Fucking... Need to save them. I think... He's probably out and about right now, minding his own business. Oh, I don't even know where I am. But I'm just kind of searching for shit right now. Ah, shit. Is there any light source here? I don't want to light the candles. Necessarily. We might have to, though. I don't know, God, being on the third lowest is gauge. There's gotta be some light here. Fuck. It's just genuinely fucked up, man. Alright. Okay. The monster also doesn't actually you or, or follow you when the cutscene is playing so this is so this is when you want oh please we don't have time to make the hole any wider someone is coming 
Hurry! I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise. At least we're on slight headache right now. We can save though. If we want to right now. If things get too scary. Damn, again, yeah. The fact the cutscene saved us there. That's the fucked up part for sure. On Hartmo, you don't hear when he's patrolling the area. Okay, where's the shit? Let's get the fuck out of here, it doesn't matter now. Because he can't see us. You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. True. Alright. Okay, we should get us some sanity here too. Here we go. Damn, that was scary, man. God damn. I need to save very soon. I think I can by now. Maybe. Good thing I didn't waste a Tinder box down there. Yeah, or Crystal clear too. God bless. Alright. This run is scary, man. And I, you can't even imagine how scary it is if I actually ended up doing a fucking zero saves run as well. I just don't think it's worth it doing that right now though. Alright. It is doable, but I, feel, I don't feel comfy enough for it. Alright. Um, I don't know if it's worth coming here right now, but whatever. I don't know. I think if you pick up one of something here, a grunt will appear. But as far as I'm concerned, there's like jack shit here right now. There's a lot of them. That probably triggers it. But it doesn't matter. He doesn't... I don't think he'll come here, to be honest. And if he does, we're fine anyway, because there's a good hiding spot. He should trigger here. Okay, hopefully we're good. Stare at the fire. I don't know if this counts, but... Alright. Yeah, it wasn't really worth coming here. At least not right now. We'll later have to come here. See, I'm not, like, perfect at this game. I think he... I think if you go here in this room fast enough, he doesn't even come up here, so I think we're safe. I think... There's no way he's still, like, coming here. Imagine. Okay. We're fine. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the lantern does still help, actually, I think. I noticed it went back to normal a little bit when I pulled it up. Do we want to save by now? I think we're still fine. I'm, I don't want to save, like, just because we're at the prison, even though that is still risky. We're probably going to use uh, quite a bit of oil in this area, though. What the fuck was that? Okay, storage. Do we want to go to the storage, though, right now? I don't know. Oh, shit, it's this shitty part. Yeah, okay, we're just going to go here. We're going to do as much as progress as possible. Kitchen. That's where we came from. You actually literally get lost here. Bro. I want to say fuck this. Well, it's, for his own good. it's fine. He can't. I think I'm gonna save. But I have like zero fucking tinderboxes after that. 
Uh, and we're not gonna go to that room. I don't even care what the fuck's in that room because a grunt will appear when you go to this fucking room. And I ain't going to that dog shit. Stare at the light, girl. Fuck, this game is scary, bitch. I'm probably gonna save somewhere here on ironically, because I'm just too fucking scared. Hey, we have one more tinderbox. <laughs> I think we have to save, I don't know, I'm too nervous now. I'm genuinely too scared. It's too risky. It's just too risky. I'm gonna do it. I'm sorry, we have one more tinderbox anyway, it's fine. It's just too risky, I can't. Like, I can easily die here. It's, I'm not risking that. It's the most fuck. Where? Oh fuck! Wait, I think he come. I think he comes out of the room anyway. Actually, how close do I have to be to the fucking light? There you go. You have to be pretty close. Okay. And I think this is where we later have to come back to. So yeah, he opens the door anyway. Okay, cool. Well, good thing I didn't go here earlier, because I don't think there's shit in here. For sure in normal mode there's something in there, though, because that would be a fucking waste of time. This is still a zero death run, though. If I still manage to get a zero death run, it's genuinely good enough. Actually, maybe I have to go here, actually. I think this is where we actually have to go. Okay, whatever. I think all we have to do now is... Go back to the kitchen, actually, which is not this way. But whatever, we triggered a cutscene, so it's fine. Go outside. It's too dangerous. I'm telling Gabriel. I doubt that very much. Where the fuck am I? Fuck. I went like. Hey, that's what I mean, bro. We might be fucked. Good thing I saved. It's, it sucks if I die here, but at least it's... We might be fine, though. We can't really do anything in this situation right now. We can't, like, light the lantern either, because he's really close. I think we're fine. Damn, bitch, that was crazy. Okay, he's going away. I've noticed on a hard mode in particular, they really like come back fast. Like they patrol the area like a fucking motherfucker. Okay, we're fine now. We just need to get back to the kitchen. Get back to the kitchen, baby girl. I don't think they really hear your footsteps that much. <sighs> Fuck, this is the worst part actually ever, because this is like a dead end. Legit. You're just straight out of fucking dead end. Like that part. Okay, kitchen, we're on the right track now. I don't know where he went. I think he probably despawned, actually. Fuck it. Let's play it safe. Probably despawned. There you go. We should be fine. He will come here, though, if I uh, do this puzzle here. Or clear this puzzle. So I'm just gonna close this fucker. He already came. What the fuck? Alright. I think this is like scripted, so he will break down the door this time. Yeah. 
interesting enough, by the way. On hard mode, they break down the doors in two hits, not three, so it wasn't crazy. That's why I almost fucked up in storage, because I figured he would hit the door down in three times as usual, but yeah. I almost got caught on that bitch. There's been close calls for sure. And funnily enough, each time there's been close calls, it was right uh, after I saved. All right, but it feels very weird right now. I don't think he's gonna come back, right? That would suck. Here we go. Okay, uh, well, this sucks as well, though, because now we need to go all the way back to somewhere. Um, to clear a padlock. Is she still there? The fuck? No. I always think he's still there, fucking hell. Alright. Okay, we need to now, like, destroy a padlock. With this acid, we'll be fine. He'd probably despawn. I'm pretty sure every time he goes, like, too far from the character, he, like, despawns and appears to, like, a different location and patrols that area. I'm pretty sure this is the right way to go. You definitely want to follow the signs for the most part. But I think this is where you go. I might be wrong though. I'm not sure if it is. Oh, it is. Pretty sure that. Whoops. Pretty sure there's a. Yep. Scripted air event. Okay, we did it. God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, we're pretty much safe for a while now. Until we get to, I don't know what it's called, like the sewers, I guess, I think that area. And there's a bunch of puzzles here too, so we don't need to worry about anything. Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come. I oftentimes there. fuck We're up the ladders, by the way. I land like I somehow end up falling from the fucking ladders and lose like 70% of my HP. Gonna attempt not to do that here this time, but yeah, I think the next save is gonna be at the sewers. At like the second half of the sewers near the end of it. Because, again, huge area where you can die and just lose your sanity as well, probably. And. Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Alright, so this uh, puzzle is pretty simple for the most part. I wanna I do wanna scavenge the room though for any tinder boxes. Like this shit is important. Huh. Alright, so this is the, the we can't do anything in that room. The room in question, however, is right here. Just looking for tinders. Because some tinder boxes are hidden, genuinely, but yeah. Alright. Fine. Um Okay, let me memory that room. I never really memorize this room, but I think I get it. This is half, this is top. Wait, no, this is, let's say this is more like bottom. This is top and this is middle. So bottom, top, middle. We need to mirror it. Which is a little bit weird, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of uh, freeway here. Yeah, it like, does a sound when it's... Here we go, here we go. It's right about there, and then this is middle. Nope. Alright. Fucking gay. This smacks. There we go. It's 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 a little bit wonky, like it's pretty specific. But I mean uh We're gonna do this.
so we don't have to put that shit later. All right. Actually, this might. Okay, it works. It's fine. Ah, oh, shit, guys. Maybe not. Okay, fuck that. Okay, good enough. Ah, man. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's gotta be at least one tinderbox hidden here somewhere. Okay, that's actually for the puzzle in case the door there breaks down, which I just put the boxes underneath, but we don't even have to do that now. Alright, this is fine. Um, I'll turn your buckets. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we just have to put, put this guy under here. I don't even have this memorized. I'm literally just guessing. Okay, good. Daniel, is that you? Daniel, is that you? What are you doing? Free oil? Fuck. Imagine I get like stuck somewhere here and I have to fucking restart. Like that's actually a pretty good big concern too is just because this game is a little glitchy to be honest. So if you get stuck, it's pretty GG. Wait, why is it stuck in position? Wait, what? Did we do the puzzle correctly? Or what? I don't think so. Maybe we did, though. Maybe the other one, we don't have to move at all. I don't fucking know. Shit, if I know. We'll see, I guess, what happens. Alright. Back off. Ah, where's the other shit? I don't even... Th okay, here we go, yeah, they're all here. Hey, mate. Alright, I don't even get this puzzle, I just kind of RNG it, like I have no fucking idea what the fuck <laughs> the pattern here is. It's probably not that. I don't know, it's weird. I... It just wants to go like that, ladies and gentlemen. No fucking idea. Okay, it worked. Did I do it? I think so, yeah. It sure sounds like I did it. Alright, GG. Still don't... Get any tender boxes though. Shit, no. They really don't hand you out any. You know? None at all. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think we go that way now. Hello. Okay, never mind, we go that way. Unless both of them are fucked. But I'm pretty sure one of them you don't need to make unstuck. Yeah, one of them just goes all the way down. So this is the one where we we're gonna go first. Cistern, baby. Damn, I can't believe like two years ago or something. I did like a 40 minute speedrun on this glitchless. Pretty nice. I'm pretty sure I could do better, but I don't really care. Water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking. Okay, I don't know if this jump's possible. I don't think that jump's possible. It looks significantly. Exactly. Wait, it does strain your oil. In cutscenes, maybe they changed that on heart mode. Or maybe I've been lied to. It literally just happened and that was a cutscene. Like a flashback or whatever you want to call it. That's weird. Well, I guess that sucks, but now I know. Well, <laughs> I got fucking debated, I guess. Jack shit. Where do we even go now? I think we just go there. I think that's... Sounds about right. There is a water monster here. But I've never gotten killed by it in my whole life, so... I don't think there's much of a issue here. 
They're at the light for sanity. Alright. Alright, well. But yeah, we're doing all of this right now. We're just turning on the fucking water or whatever the fuck we're doing. Because, uh. We're trying to go to the sewers, and the pathway to the sewers is. has like a bunch of toxin in, in there, and we can't access it without dying and uh, being poisoned to death. So we're doing something like that. And we're just gonna go here. Hopefully the mon water monsters don't fucking kill us. The water monster is a weird uh, thing in this area, though, for sure. Because it's not... He's not really active. Ooh, I feel like that was close. Wouldn't be surprised if these fucking pipes were any faster in this mod, too. I think we did it, yeah. Call that a GG. Uh, actually, wait, let me think. Where do I go? I think we go right to the straight here, yeah. Oh my god, I was so scared. Holy shit, I was scared. Ooh. Guys, this shit is fucked up. They're all one hit. My god, I thought he was actually- he's probably, He probably was chasing me. Oh, that was probably close. I have no idea. That part's always been weird. With the water monster, because he's like weirdly inactive. But he does exist in that part. I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm not even gonna fucking drop down. To make it any faster. And this should be good enough. Yeah, we need that rock for, uh, to make this go down and get unstuck. Um, yeah, we'll do it from here. Alright. Boom, da-da. And the rock didn't even fall off after that. Good, good job, everybody. So the morgue, there is a part here where, the, where a monster comes out. I believe it's... The sewer monster, actually, this is the first time we meet him here. But since he's supposedly... Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. Fucking... Oil actually does drain in the cutscene, so we're not even gonna do that anymore, really. Come, let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Let's. Just down the corridor to the Ooh. That's nice, I don't think I ever noticed that. A lot of them there. Maybe. We set a fucking- Okay, that's not a tinderbox now, I'm just imagining. Alright. Okay, we have one tinderbox for like... A while! A very long time, I swear to god. If for some reason... That happens in this area and it freaks me out, it like goes dark as fuck for a bit. Alright, this is that way. I feel like... Yeah, it's fine. Okay, again, I, I've never been here this far in hard mode, so I'm not sure at this point where anything is in terms of uh, item locations and, like, uh, tinderboxes. So I'm actually just gonna stroll around a little bit. This is probably fucking with my sanity, seeing these dead bodies and cockroaches from that shit on the floor. There's no... Yeah, there's like no item here. Alright, let's just do this shit. Hello. Uh, I think we just... What do we do? I think we just fuck him. This? Yeah. And now we need like... This. And then this. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? And we did something. And I think now our sanity is fucking R-worded. Which is not ideal, as a monster is about to appear, but... There's a light, so we don't have to waste a dinner box. And yeah, um... 
Guy's about to drop down by in a bit. I don't think we can run away from him. At least I'm not gonna risk it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just need to be really quiet as well, because this one doesn't see but hears. So as long as we're quiet. Which is probably not the best part to be at, since there's water here. I don't even know if this light does anything. You can't really even fucking see it. <laughs> I thought for a second this bitch was coming here, mate. <sighs> Yeah, I think overall this guy is way creeper than the Grunt. I mean, the Grunt is scary, ladies and gentlemen, but this guy is pretty fucked up. What always surprised me is that there is only two types of monsters. What? Guys, what the fuck? I guess that candle did do jack shit, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're just gonna wait here for five minutes, because I ain't risking shit. I mean, if we go down right now... I don't know, it's too risky. If we go down right now and out of this morgue... I think we'll get a clear puzzle. A puzzle clear, and then our sanity will go up anyway, but it's a little risky still. I'm fucking waiting, man. I don't give a shit. I ain't doing all of that again. The last time I said it again was... A while ago at this point, man. Fucking hell. And... Yeah... Kind of cringe. Hmm. It's risky. And I don't have any tinderboxes, and I don't know if when I'll get enough again for a save. This is fucking yikes, this shit. You really don't get any. It already would be relatively hard if they, like, cut the tinderboxes in, like, half, but I swear it's, like, fucking 90% cut. Okay. I think... I think we just need to go. I don't know. I... I mean, ours... Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, we... We've climbed back up. I'm just gonna keep this on, I guess, for a little bit. Alright. I ain't risking that shit, man. I will be very, very upset if I need to do fucking the whole machine room here again, or whatever it's called. Fuck that. Well, look, once you're down to dot dot dot, you don't have much left, man. Alright, we should be fine now. Oh, that was risky, little guy. Okay. I don't think... Again, I'm really fucking desperate for a tinderbox, but I'm pretty sure there's none anywhere here. Like, I don't know if they, like, actually manually fucking placed them somewhere where you can barely see them, but I haven't seen shit. Okay, this is the area which was loaded with poison toxins before, and that's why we had to do all that trip. Just explaining a couple things. Alright. I believe at this point, we're like, maybe... I'd say... I mean, there's still a lot to go. I'd say we're like 65% done, maybe? Maybe 60. Usually when I get to this point, I'm like, yeah, we're pretty close by this point. Good end, but we're not really. I mean, there's still a lot to go for. Uh, but yeah. One tinder box, man, it's giving me shit. Think about it. I've gotten like zero tinder boxes since prison. That's fucking crazy. And there was barely any there, too. There was, like, fucking two tinderboxes there. I don't know what's happening. 
Okay, that's just the sound of this, not the monster. Good to know, ladies and gentlemen. There's usually like a tinderbox there. No, obviously not anymore. Fuck. We just need to play it safe and pray. Again, we don't have four. I don't think we're gonna get four. By the time I need to save, like okay, ideally I want to save. Jesus Christ, bitch! Ideally I want to save. Uh, like near the end of the sewer part, which is very fucking soon, and that's not gonna happen. So I need to really just very heavily be fucking pray and hope everything's gonna plan. I mean. This part shouldn't be too bad if you're playing it safe. It's really horrible when you're speedrunning though, so it's like... I have a little bit of PTSD from that when I was speedrunning this. Because then this part is like the worst part. And when you do it right, it does save a lot of time. But obviously, since we're not doing that, it shouldn't be too bad. Wait, this is about where I'd save, probably. Because if he does end up coming upstairs, you're like, there's no shot. I mean, he is blind, so it could be still doable. Ah, shit. I think I'm over exaggerating a little bit here, though. Okay. Could be fine. Okay, if we're just quiet as fuck, it's fine. He's probably gonna break it down though, I don't know. Maybe not. It's everything coming upstairs though. Oh, fuck. He might change his mind on the last second though, that's usually what happens. I also ran out of water, ladies and gentlemen. Not ideal to say the least. Alright, I think we're good. Fucking hell, man. I really do like this hard mode so far, though. Because it kind of, in a way, feels like you're playing for the first time. Because it is, like, a much harder challenge and, like, overcomplicating things. And it feels like you're playing for the first time. And it is a lot scarier, too. Even though I don't have the experience of, like, a blind playthrough on this game. Because, like, I just... Found this game through YouTube back in the day, in like 2011, 2012. But imagine it would have been dead. All right. Well, at least my sanity went back up. I think we're gonna be fine. It is. I mean, they did this shit on purpose, man. The fact that they give you jack shit. They give you. One so far tinderbox since prison. That's fucking stupid. I don't think I ever noticed these rats here. Okay, that's gonna rape my sanity probably. Look, ooh. Why is the grunt dead here anyway? You reckon, like. Fucking dumbass. There's no light here either. Unless this counts, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, man. This is scary. Alright. Look at this. Now look at me. Trigger, 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 trigger. We're like gonna drop down the fucking zero at this point on the sanity. It's so risky everything. This is fine though. He, ne I've never died here ever. So this is fine. But I just don't know how... How he acts, I guess, on hard mode, and because there's this upcoming part where you need to actually make sure you know what he's doing and how he's acting. Um, but it should be fine. It, I imagine it's not. It shouldn't be too bad. All right, we're just gonna get this hand. I think he's fucked up. I was a little bit wrong. 
He's just fucking slow as fuck. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> He was very slow, ladies and gentlemen. I was waiting here for like 40 seconds. Oh my god, he is actually really close to me. If he comes here, I'm literally raped. I mean, I know he's blind, but... I don't know, I don't feel safe. If he's that close, I feel like he'll like still smell me or something. Fuck. <laughs> yep. I don't want to look at him because I like my sanity is probably it. as slow as it can be, almost. Okay. I think he fucked off. Alright. Well, here we go. We're basically, if we don't know what's about to come here, we need to grab one of these. And distract him with noise. Again, he's just mainly attracted to noise. And then... Hopefully it's fine. Uh, God damn. Because after this part, <clears throat> we're pretty Gucci for a while. Let's just make sure he hears this shit. Yeah, that should be good, that should be good. I don't want to run, I'm not going to risk it. But we should be good, hopefully. Okay, cool, okay, cool. Ah, oh, he's just chilling there. Okay, now let's run. Pink chilling. Kill. This is scripted now. He will follow you either way. And hopefully it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. It almost feels like playing it for the first time. I just don't know what's possible in this fucking mode. Scary. This is one of the parts, by the way, where if you keep on jumping on the ladder, you know, to go up faster. If you keep on doing it for too long and it's like you get to the transition where it gets to this loading screen, you can just fall down and you'll lose like 78% health. It's really bad, so that's why I don't really... So when I'm doing it, like half the ladder... Okay, we are genuinely relatively safe now. And yeah, we already got a fucking Tinder. Right? Of course, now they're giving me. They really want you to suffer. Thankfully, I'm a veteran by all means. So. It's not too bad. Doesn't mean I'm scared shitless, though. But yeah, this machine is dead. Again, we just need to repair a bunch of shit again. Is what it is, I'd argue. Um. Okay, so we're at this point where we meet Agrippa, and I'm not sure if you actually want to uh, save Agrippa. I mean, it's a couple extra steps, but considering we get all of that shit, um, like what we need for Agrippa to save him, the items, considering we get all of that um, through areas, in areas, where we're supposed to go anyway for the main story. I think we might as well, because it... I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? Because, no. yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, it does make your sanity anything. go up as well. Yes. I'm very curious I what actually happens on the last part, though, because... On the safe. very last I part, before the end... But will it be worth living? There's a lot of sanity dropping moments. Yeah, there's a grippa here. I also did the grip ending for like for the first fucking time ever. Yeah, I did that uh, grip ending for the first time ever only a few days ago. Surprisingly enough. Okay, that's fixed. I guess. And now we can do the rest. Now we yeah, now we have to already go back all the way. I think. 
And because that made it so we can pull the switches, the levers, uh, up here. So, you know, a little, uh, back and forth here. Fucking glitchy ass stairs. It's actually just better to jump on them, guys. Alright. Where you at? Not here? That's for goddamn sure. Okay, I think, yeah, you just pull them up. Each. Boom, GG. You know what's funny, actually? Uh, yeah, speaking of the grip binding, every time I play through the game, I still get, like, for the most part, all the items you need. But I never actually did, like, the potion and used them, so it's like, okay. I did all the... I got all the ingredients, but didn't actually do the potion. I think we're gonna... Might, we might do it this time, though, because why not? It's the cool, good ending, right? I don't know. Do we need something from here? Uh, there's, like, a meat. I think we might... Yeah, I think we get the meat here. I might as well get that. And also, since I am... Actually, maybe not. Maybe I won't get whatever's in those rooms. I'll just get the meat and fuck off. I don't think there's anything else we need here. Um, we just need the meat for one of the uh, this area right here. How are things coming? You got A group is annoying, though. I will agree with everyone on that. Okay, let's put the meat here. I mean, to get the grip ending, it doesn't even take that much more time. It's like, like while you're maybe... It's like minus three minutes, dude. Oh, he's really eating that for a while. Fantastic. Wait, this is one of the fucking ingredients. Remains, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what is this? It's trans right? I don't like this part that much. It's kinda... It's... I don't like this part at all, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. It's... You slowly walk, because there's like five different cutscenes. I don't like this part. And you just collect a bunch of shit. It's not that interesting, but... Lore moment. This one. Yeah, this is just a bunch of torture rooms where Alexander used to keep them, and I, Daniel, used to help him. But then I realized, well, you know, I'm sure everyone knows the story. We're not gonna pull that because that'll fuck up for sanity, probably. We're fine. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, later down the line, Daniel realized that Alexander, who's keeping the prisoners, they're not actually good people, or they are good people and not bad people. So then Daniel feels bad and realizes Alexander's a fucking horrible person this entire time. And now we're trying to stop him because he's discovered this crazy orb in the, from a fucking desert, which has insane superpowers. <laughs> Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. Um, but yeah, that's why we're collecting, like, pieces of orbs. We need six in total. There's three in this room, three in the other side. And through that, we'll, like, build back up a orb to go through a portal. It's pretty crazy. There's, like, supernatural shit in this game a lot. A lot of it. And fucking five cutscenes. Holy shit. I don't think anyone likes this part of the game right here on replay playthroughs. Sanity draining, it's fine. Actually, it's not that fine. Well, I'm sure there's a light here. I actually, I don't think these lights even help. Ah, oh, man, it's a little bit risky, but I don't think I wanna... Yeah, it's fine, thank God. Um, what did I need for this? I think I needed something upstairs 
Um, so we're gonna actually go back to this room. Again, this is for the good grip ending, I think. But whatever, I don't care. We're gonna do it. I've decided. The good ending, which, I mean... Yeah, the group ending is considered the good ending, so, you know, there it is. Um, yep, then we needed that. Okay, yeah, um, well, uh, oil, are we good? Okay, let's get the book back. The only upstrat. We don't actually move your camera. Alright, uh, I believe we needed to go here. So we're just gonna take, like, blood or something. It's kind of a bizarre potion. It's like, the potion is so Agrippa, like... I don't even fucking know, man. I guess, I think the potion, like, makes it so... <laughs> it's super weird. You, like... Cut off Agrippa's head with like a fucking saw, and then if he drinks the potion beforehand, it's like fine or something. And then we carry his head, and he's like soul is still in there. It's fucking bizarre. Yeah, what do we do? I think we put. Yeah. Cool. Now we get that juiced up blood. We're still clear, still, even though it's blurry as shit. Those are okay, two cuts and bruises, that's fine. I don't know, I don't even know when I'm gonna next save. I think I think I need to say realistically the red part, which is upcoming very soon actually. Cause that's like the huge red, dark red part where you can barely see shit and it's like super foggy. There's, like, uh, that super guy who's blind patrolling the area the entire time, pretty much, and it's just fucking risky as balls, I think, to not save there somewhere. So, yeah, we're probably gonna do that, I think. How are things coming? Super fine, man. Super fucking fine. Uh, I think this room is dog shit. Hey, never mind, it's not this room. Uh, I think this is just a note, actually, which tells you how to make the potion. But yeah, um, alright, well, here we go. The choir, the chore. Choir? Choir? Choir. God damn, five attempts on that one. I think we're gonna save, I think... I hate this fucking part, and I don't want to do it again. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna say fuck it. I don't, I mean, next time after this, I don't even know when I'd save after this. It's, I feel like this is, like, the last shitty part that you can die on really easily. Well, I don't know. It's, like, it's just risky. It's not, like, an actual hard part. It's just risky, right? So I think I'm gonna do it. I don't know when the next part is when I would save anyway, right? So I might as well do it now, fuck it. Plus, it's been a while, a fucking while. Uh, I'm not gonna go to this room because it's a waste of time. Nothing fucking happens. It's a low room and it's like a five minute cutscene. Not about that life. Same as for this. We're just gonna go straight to the choir. Not waste time there. I want to get water, to be honest. But it's fine. Yeah, this is some fucked up shit happening in this goddamn part. Um, we're just gonna go here first. I think this is what I usually do. Even before it's the opposite of what I usually do, but whatever. You you really want to ideally memorize this whole place, though. I mean, there's only three places you can go. But there's three doors, but you can't see shit, so it's like nice if you know where you're going. Somehow I knew that, that was there. I don't think there's anything else here, to be honest. Oh. Fantastic. Oh my god, I could have an uh, avoided that, but... Seems it's fine. Okay, there was one orb, we need two more in this area, and then, like, a fucking weird, uh... 
mushroom. Why is everything shaking? I guess because I'm like fucking up the whole place. All right. Okay, two more arms. I don't think the monster's patrolling yet. Even though if there really is no chase music, which seems to be the case since there were so many close calls just because of that. I mean, not hearing the chase music or like the patrolling music or whatever. Uh, he could be technically somewhere here, I guess, from that, but... <laughs> Shit in hell, mate. Seems to be more active than usual, no doubt. You don't want to run, I think walking is relatively fine. Okay, he's going there. Um, I think... I don't even know where I am anymore. I think... I think you should just don't run, you're relatively fine. Or if he just doesn't at least get too close to you. Okay, I think, yeah, there's this door. I think he's far enough he can run. Fuck it. Alright. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here we need. And you may administer the torture in any yeah. way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs. I swear the monster can actually come here. I'm fucking that would be a bad good jump scare if he's just right here. Patrolling. No, don't worry. At least we're safe during a cutscene. At least that's what you just think. Yeah, actually, we did confirm that in the prison. So that's not different in heart mode. I don't know if we can go this way. I think this is a dead end. Oh, yeah, he does actually come more active. Uh, if you, if you, like, the more you get the pieces in here. Alright. Oh, yeah. Baby girl is active today. Baby girl. Okay, he's going there. Fuck him. Imagine he's actually chasing him right now. I wouldn't know because there's no fucking music. Alright. Um, I believe this way is the last one somewhere. I don't want to run still, I feel like he's too close. I think we don't even have to cross the bridge, it might be just somewhere this way, but I might be wrong. Either way though, I believe there might be like, uh, some items here anyway. Where? Oh no. I think it's that way. Oh fucking hell. I think he's gonna come this way actually. I think that's scripted. No, never mind. And this is risky, but whatever. <laughs> this is pretty risky actually. If he comes back right now. Is this the last part? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Okay, this is where we get one of the ingredients. All right, this is the, also the last piece here with the cow, which is a pretty interesting torture uh, device. I think you just place a fucking person in there, burn it up inside, and the person's like fucking dying in the cow. Pretty intense. I'm not. I don't think I'll run the whole time now. On the way back here, uh, I think we need to cross the bridge to the right now. Maybe I don't know. I, I'm not gonna risk running, it's just not worth doing the shit part again. It's not a bad part, but it's fucking tedious if you need to do it more than once. In particular. Ooh, I don't know, there might be like a tinderbox here though. Fuck. I don't think I should have cornered myself here, because there's probably dog shit here. Fuck. Okay, it's fine. I, I think as long as we crouch, we're genuinely safe, though, it seems. Fuck, he's like right there where I need to go. Okay, I'm not even looking at him, dog. 
You fucking capping out your asshole if you think that. I'm side eyeing the monster, bruh. Okay, he's right there. Fuck him. Fuck. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone this way. I thought there would be like maybe one tinder box. I knew this was the wrong way. I feel like you can tell by the music at some point. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. Okay, I think I need to. F okay, it's fine. It's fine. He's coming that way. Thankfully, charged. If he did a third, like patrol on this area, Jesus. Okay, here's the bridge. I don't want to run at this point. Fuck it. He's far enough. Who cares? He's pretty fucking fast. He's definitely faster than the grunt. But I think we're safe. Fish. I think we need to go straight now. Yeah. Nice. See, I know the area, boys. I know the area, after all. I know the area. wonder how long this video is going to be. It might turn to be, like, oh, under three hours a little bit. I think, I'd say we're, like, 80% done, maybe, now. I'd say that's realistic, about 80% done. Getting close. <clears throat> I think we're definitely done with like the worst of the worst, though. And three tinder boxes, okay. And now I think we just go here. Pretty simple, really general. I th think we just die here, actually. And this, ladies and gentlemen, does not count. This simply does not count for uh, for a, a death, okay? This is still a deathless run. This is a fucking scripted death. Literally no other way you can do it. Literally no other fucking way. Let's share the light though, because if we... Spoiler alert. We wake up in a prison here in a bit, and I don't want to be at like zero sanity for that part. Okay, it's fine. There's three of them, man. You know? Imagine this is a fucking huge trollage moment in hard mode, and there's actually, like, it's restarts. <laughs> Imagine. Thankfully not, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, sanity's probably fucking dog shit. <laughs> Just kidding, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it doesn't cock you too hard to game here. We're at crystal clear. Alright. Fantastic. I'm just checking every second to make sure, bro. I don't care. You had me worried. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to You literally get more oil though in this fucking uh, mode than tinder boxes. Like, it's crazy. No grudge against you, Daniel. I think... We yeah. Are so very much the same, you and I. Hello? Really drink from the amnesia mixture? From the amnesia mixture? So much of your behavior. You never did finish what you set out to do. You talked about redemption. The fuck? How you would oh. The Okay. To redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the, the fuck was that? You, okay, stop. Well, stop with the bullshit, sister. Jesus Christ. This is what I mean, bruh. There's like certain rooms that you don't... It, that you want to avoid. At least you can save now, but yeah, there's like certain rooms in this that... You want to avoid, even though we did end up getting a tinder box, which is good, but... There's even earlier on in the game, there's like certain rooms you want to avoid just because it drains your sanity so hard. But we're good, it seems. Um, alright. We need to get water. To get a key from the pipes, so we can escape this. I like how our inventory is almost full. Oh yeah. 
B B grill. Hello. A bot. A bot. Eh. Okay, this is chase sequence here. Except I don't know what the fuck is chasing me. I guess it's just the shadows. I don't know. I don't think you can die here, though. Honestly. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm still scared, dogs. I mean, even though I've never died here, I feel like it's. I mean, there's the. Oh shit! It cucked me. Now I'm pretty sure on normal mode, that's the correct way. Holy shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck! <laughs> Dude, why is this so long? I did. I mid. I mid run on that section. Just shift tabbed. I went to the Steam menu. I wanted to check my fucking uh, sanity while holding shift so I can run. Like, keep running because I'm so scared that something was gonna actually kill me there. And then that happened. Okay, we're not gonna pick up this note because it's just a literal five minute cutscene. Like, it couldn't be any longer. I'm just saying, you know, like, you don't wanna do that. Also, is there. Nah, I don't think there's anything you wanna do. On this part, I don't think there's anything you want to do on this part, yeah. I don't think so. You, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright. I think we have all the ingredients, right? For the fucking uh, mixture. We should have it, yeah. Anything here? Nay. Okay, thanks for that, mate. We have fucking 10 laudanums. Holy shit, 11. Like, god damn. I never even got that many on, uh... Okay, that's glitchy. This staircase, or this, like, slide here is so glitchy. You can lose, like, 70 fucking percent of your health if you slide down too fast on it, I swear. Shit's crazy. Okay, we're gonna make the mixer sure now. Otherwise, why not? Uh, one thing about this mixture, however, is that you need to do it, like, correctly as shit. Like, if, for example, if you place this jar here, and you do it out of order, you can't get the jar back. Like, it just stays there, and then you, you're cucked yourself. Thankfully, in normal mode, like, it doesn't matter, because you can just slow an auto save real quick. Uh, I believe now we just put this bitch here. Yeah, and then we just squeeze that. Do not squeeze that, just have it. Oh, okay, cool. Hi. Boom, baby. I guess that makes sense. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Cool, and now we can do this. We place a bone here. Some weird shit happening. Close it. And boom. It's creating... Whatever the fuck it's creating. Uh, wait, your nurse. Wait, wait, your tonic. And that's how you do a group is ending. I mean, there's technically more steps, but that's like the gist of it. I saw I lost it. The castle crumbled, and I could hear the chancel collapse. And this opened up. Uh, I don't even fucking remember what you get from this place. Well, there's that. Definitely could get that. <laughs> I don't need it, but uh, completionist Andy type beat. Oh, we did need that, though. So that's good we come here. This door never opened. There's, like, a lot of doors in this game that never open. It would be cool if there was, like, a way to unlock and backtrack a little bit to get, like, items. Uh, wait. Yeah, we first feed him. Boom. Quickly. Oh, for fuck's sake. I touched the spikes like near him and got bruised thankfully I have 10 fucking yeah we're fine all right 
Uh, yeah, well, now we go back here where we died last time. Quote. Not still a death of storm, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're now, now we're like 95% done. I think we're really close to this point, right? So. Yes. This is... Guys, what can I say? I'm like a goat at Amnesia. The Dark Descent, like... No matter what, I speedrun it naturally. We don't want to die, though, at this point. We can save. I wonder if it's worth saving at any point here. Well, actually, yes, it is. Before the fucking part where we enter the last gate, we want to save, like, where we do the ritual and shit. We want to save there because fucking weird ass part. I don't even know how it works. Off of fuck's sake. Okay, I wonder. I don't think there's anything on that room. And I don't know if there's. I think we do need to go to that room. Oh my god, KYS. I think that guy went there, though. That's the risky part. I think there's that um, blind guy in that room. But I'm pretty sure we need to turn on this machine in this room to make the portal work. I'm pretty sure. Because what the fuck else uh, is the reasoning, you know? Okay, I'm gonna run. I'm not even gonna look back. I am not risking this shit. Kill yourself, dude. I'm not risking that. Yikes. Have I seen that room, bruh? Okay, maybe we can... I think I know what to do. If he goes... If he's scripted to go into that room, we'll just go to that other room first where you, uh... put all the chris... or, uh... dorbs and door parts. And then by the time we're done with that, he's probably like leaving the room already and then we can slowly go there. I'm pretty sure he was actually chasing me, like that was close, bruh. Fuck, man. I could've- I had- I, I don't even know when I last saved. Is he there anymore? I don't see him. Also, you actually can't go to this room, funnily enough, anymore. But- to be honest, I don't think there's really much of a point in that room, because there seriously isn't anything there in the first place, so we're not missing out much. I'm still gonna walk, so I'm not sure if he's actually still here or not. I think that I just, like, did a big brain moment there by restarting, because it seems he's just out of the fucking game now. Okay, that's not an item. That is, though. Oh, we needed to come here anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm pretty sure that we still need to do this, though. So let's do that. Let's, like... We need to fucking uh, make these wheels break. We need something heavy. So one of these fatties right here. Low. Alright. Okay, good job, everyone. Okay, we're good. Please don't tell me this monster's gonna come here now. I think we're safe. I don't think the game will troll us like that. Alright, gestures to win, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. I wonder if you can fall through there, I don't think so. Pretty curious, though. Alright. Now for the last thing, we need to place this first. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's not it. Whee! And now we wait. I remember a few days I'm gonna play this on normal. I fucking went right in there without waiting. But you do need to wait. You just get fucking blasted. Here we go, though. This is, this is where I'm gonna save now. 
There's a death in the room when I say it now. This is the last part. We're 99% done. Um, I'm gonna save here because... Um, I've never really... I don't remember what the fuck... Like... I'm, it's pretty... It should be simple, but... But you do lose a lot of sanity here, so I'm not risking shit. Um, but I'm pretty sure all you do is just touch this water, go here, perform a ritual, I guess. Actually, I'm pretty sure just if you stay long enough, I think that's what it is. You just need to stay long enough. Um, that's it. And that's it. <laughs> You just need to stay long enough. I think that's there's nothing much else to it. I think I usually just leave too early and then I get confused and stuck. I get stuck. Because I just don't stay on this ritual area for too long. So the like the gates open or whatever. Yeah. Okay, we definitely are low on sanity though. Get that shit going. Oh my god, we're on zero. Fucking hell, mate. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is risky. Well, we can use up all our oil and shit. Doesn't matter. I have infinite oil. I'm not gonna continue until we're like past the dots, bruh. This is why I saved. Otherwise, there's no real risk near uh, at the end, though, besides this. Okay, we're good. Well, at least it's not blurry as shit anymore. I'm, I'm just gonna wait it out. But, okay, it would be so fucking sad if we end up dying right at the end. Like, right at the end. Okay. May I don't know. I don't think if we light like well we can light another candle anyway. God bless that we even have one tinderbox. But I don't think we can uh, even if we did light another candle. I don't think it will really fasten up the progress. Can you go more up, May? I wish there was a sanity potion, bro. Cause this shit's too slow. I'm not risking it. I mean, I literally can't do anything else. I'm not risking it. Actually. Fuck off. <laughs> I hope it's building slowly up. The sanity meter, please, God. I'm pretty sure we will get a puzzle clear if we just go, um, you know, like through the doors, we'll get a puzzle clear and it was fine. So yeah, okay, it did slowly build up. Okay, so I, I was right. God bless. Alright, we're good then. See, it was risky because now it did that sound. Oh, we didn't even get a puzzle clear. Thank god I did that shit. It just. I swear, man, that would have been fucking trolling out the asshole if I died there. Alright. We're fine now, though, I'd say. Alright. So I'm pretty sure you just flip over this. Like, for some reason, you need to uh, flip over, like, you know, one of them, and then wait. Uh, I might be wrong, though. Maybe you can just wait, even if they're all like this, but... If all the pillars are up, but, yeah. But now we just wait till he opens up this portal, and then we can do the grip ending. Pretty awesome. But, yeah. This took a lot less, and I thought it would be... I, th I almost wasn't sure if I was actually gonna do it. Uh... Especially in one try, I wasn't sure. I'm gonna keep the lantern up just in case, because I'm like... Pretty close to dot 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 still. Alright, open up the portal, little guy. I don't think I've ever done the ending where I actually let him like... Open up the portal, though. I don't know if those are achievements for that one, but... 
Who cares? We didn't do the Agrippa for nothing, so we're not gonna change our ending now. No! Yeah, yeah, I did it. I got the misogynist achievement. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna put the sound down now, cause... Alright. Oh shit, guys, I died technically. L-M-F-A-O. Do I actually need to walk in this ending? There he is. But yeah, Do you see I did it. Nice. He so it honestly, if you know the game, it's not that hard. <laughs> I think I say like four times in total, around three to four times. Yeah, one right at the end, and it really isn't too bad though if you know what you're doing. Like you don't even need to know like everything what you're doing. Just you know. Base knowledge of the game and this uh, challenge slash achievement isn't too bad. Um, you know, just instead of like speed running it from the monsters, you definitely just want to wait it out and then you get to go. I think that's like the main difference in the run. And if you're already good at like, if you know the layout too, you don't need to use that much oil. If you constantly check your sanity. And don't waste too many of the tinder boxes. You're also good on that. That might be like the hardest part of it, to be honest. Maintaining your sanity. But yeah, I think overall... It's harder, for sure. Like, a lot harder than normal mode. Especially because on normal mode, um... Every time you die, like, the monsters despawn. And it's like a free section after you die. So yeah, as a challenge, it's definitely like, way harder than normal mode. But uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. I don't know what else to say. Pretty awesome, Chungus. Wait, let's see, actually see how long that it took in total. 127 minutes. Might even be under 2 hours, depending on how much. Also, 1.8% only have this achievement. Pretty poggers. Uh, yeah, 2 hours, though. Not bad at all. Literally not bad at all. I, the fact that I thought it would be 4 to 5 is crazy. I guess I overestimated the difficulty a little bit. I mean, I died zero times. So. I did have two close calls, though, I think. One in prison and one in... Uh, I don't know. There's one more, maybe. But, yeah. Alright, that's about it. So, yeah. That's a moist critical outro right there. Now look at that, man. 1.8%. That's awesome. The rest of the achievements is cringe, man. I should have, like, the Tinderbox one. Like, literally more people have those ones than, than this, but, yeah. Alright.